sure that they're adjusted like Steve yeah yeah like, oh you want like this <laughs> no, you want like this right right okay. make sure I can hear everybody Ellis where's yours I didn't get one <laughs> 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 I'm a you know we dreamed of this moment <laughs> 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 Second, that I, I, as you recall uh, from those all those lengthy evenings, I was also on the technical review committee. Um, I can't. We certainly didn't increase the setback from 20 to 25. So whether this was simply an oversight, a typo, I looked at this and I was quite confused uh, that we were dealing with this language in the first place. So, so it it seems to me. Uh, you know, and, and, and an unfortunate oversight somewhere in the process of, of going from the old code to the new code. My, my recollection, it might be a little bit less so than, than you folks who sat on the committee, but I, I did sit in on a number of the, the hearings as a review of the new code was, was coming to the council. And it seemed like the, uh, I guess uh, along the lines of what you were saying, uh, the, the bulk of the discussion was about modifications to the categories B and C. And I, I think the inference was that A was pretty much staying, uh, residential A was pretty much staying as is. I, I don't, it, is it possible that that's reflected in the minutes of those meetings or no? <laughs> I went through, you guys probably looked yeah, I, well, I went through all of the planning commission, the final copies that mm -hmm. are in her office of 2012-2013. Uh, 
all of planning commission and council and I there was some discussion about the front yard setbacks I couldn't find anything on the side yeah I, I guess because I, I just I thought we were just going to let them be um, and so I don't know how 25 wanted to Right, and so, you know, I look back in the older codes, um, clear back to the 1980s, all the way up until this code was changed in 2013, and the side yard setback for this residential area was um, a total of 10, 20. 20, yeah. 10, 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Yeah, right. Um, so, right, for instance, the, the draft <coughs> document for the review process had tracking changes on it. Do any of those help at all? Is that just lost at this point since we've I don't have them. I'm sure, that, uh, I'm sure they're around, but that's... Yeah. Okay. They're, they're not on a retention schedule. You can get them out as soon as the final is written, so I doubt they are in existence. Well, I was blissfully absent from all of those meetings, so I have no recollection of all of this, but I'm willing to take your word for the fact that this isn't what it was intended, but that doesn't really change what we got to do. No, no, exactly. It does not change this evening's business. business I, would, but I would agree with Ted that, you know, in whatever the proper way, we should tee this up for the Planning Commission to, to consider. Right. I'll just take it to the Planning Commission for a text amendment. Um, and this isn't the first one since right. I've been in this position. Um, because there have been other errors in this code. Yep. Well, what I would like to do is put a motion on the table for that purpose um, before we go to the application. So that if you want to do the impact on the planning commission recommendation first. Yes. Okay. So do I have a motion um, to send the need back to planning commission to consider reduction of residence A side yard setback? Total of 20 feet in lieu of 25. Judy, is that okay? Is that acceptable to be written up the way to um, just put it? Okay, so it's new to recommend that that you, BZA, are going to recommend to Planning Commission that they uh, review the re the residence A side yard setback um, and recommend reducing the the current side yard setback from 25 feet to 25. 220 feet. 220 feet. Yes. So moved. Second. I'll stay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Can I ask a question? Sure. Um, and it all sounds sensible to me, so I'm, I'm not going to be going along with, uh, I guess I've interrupted the vote. I'm sorry about that. But I'm wondering what, does this make any material difference to the applicants in terms of, is there an advantage, for instance, to having uh, a project and property that have been approved without a variance as opposed to one approved with a variance? I don't think that it would, it would affect this particular application that goes into effect as a variance. What happens is that the other two lots, the other three lots... Oh, I see. So there's there are those that are in the yeah. same boat. Yeah. It would definitely affect those, and I think that it affects their value, certainly. You know, you have to put a smaller house on those lots. But um, in terms of where I think I, you know, the reason that I wanted to bring this up first was simply to recognize that there is, in fact, what I think to be an error in the zoning code. And um, in terms of this particular application, I think that the, the applicant is used to what's in residence A from the past. There was never discussion about residents say increasing the impact. So, you know, they purchased the property, subdivided the property to accommodate the 20 foot setback. You know, and, and it just comes to light and to me is if it's a clerical area, we can't punish an applicant for something that, you know, is, is I think an error in the zone. Well, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm kind of doing a, thinking this through myself as we go, but I, I didn't know if there's any, and Ted, I'm thinking you might know the answer to this because you've been on both sides of this table in some respect in the community. Um, but if, if there's any advantage for, for an applicant to have a property that doesn't have a, you know, that hasn't been built out by virtue of a variance as opposed to one uh, that has as far as the way the deed or title is uh, Does that have yeah, any, as any as is there any reason for them to consider waiting for instance? Well, no, because they have a season. They're, come, they're in September. Um, 
So, you know, in my mind, this is a matter of as soon as the zoning code is revised, then they automatically switch back to what the zoning code is there. So the variance is really null. So it would, it would erase the, the, the variance. Yeah. Okay. The only other reason I wanted to do it um, this way is because it's going to take our review of this application and cut the time down to 10 minutes. I'm wasting your 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. and recalling that there's something about properties that have multiple requests for variance having less advantages when you have them granted. So I didn't know if, if, if sort of using up your variance over something that doesn't need a variance as in a consequence. Just thinking of where, where these folks are standing. Yeah, I think that will do. But, you know, I, but for the fact that the old zoning code was 20 foot and, you know, all of residents A that didn't get rezoned is was flattened out at 20 foot. Yeah, it was all the assumption. That yeah. And, you know, that, that I think brings up more issues than, you know, than anything. Really. Right. How many right. buildable lots are you left with here? Okay. Could be a lot. I mean, there's quite still, there's still, Open areas. Yeah, but, but ones that are getting to, getting narrower than everybody thought, for instance, is the consequence. So, yeah, I, I think, understand. Yeah, I think that's why the, the, the front frontage was the most important discussion. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry yeah. for that interruption, but I thought it might be relevant for what you trying to do to Or did you yay or nay? Uh, we were about to vote. Did, it, did everybody yay or nay? I mean, I was going to yay for that. Why don't you read yay or nay, and then we'll just let's do it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. All right. Now we have. Thank you very much. Now we have a public hearing for a variance on Allen or on Corey Street. I'm sorry. It's okay. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Right. 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 I'm, I hear you. Um, if you want to go ahead and kind of lay out what we're talking about. Yeah, Rick and Chris Christensen have put in an application for a variance seeking relief from that required side yard setback. Um, in reviewing their application, um, they meet all of the setback requirements, height, back, front, even the minimum side yard um, on both sides of the property. Um, it is just they don't meet this total minimum by one they're off by four feet, approximately. So that is why they are here tonight. So in essence, this this particular application would fit within the 20-foot side yard setback that we are proposing that would go to planning commission. So even before I think we need to hear from the applicant, would anybody propose to um, make a suggestion that we just move forward with approval of the variance? I can't imagine what that would be for us really to hash out. What I think I think we ought to hear from any neighbors if, if they have a Oh yeah, I'll open the public hearing. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. But uh, I, I'm fine with it. proceeding like that sure. Okay, I'll open a public hearing and anybody wants to be please come to the podium and state your name. Uh, my name is William Short. I am the owner of the land that I sold to them, and uh, this came to me as a shock because we had no idea that was there when I did the uh, laying out of the lots. And you know, with the setbacks as they are, I could not see where they were gaining or where the village was gaining on this. So I'm definitely in favor of reviewing it and taking it back. My only question is just to help them out is. If you do not give them approval to do this, let's say tonight, you're, and they have to wait on the zoning and all that, you're holding them up from construction, and I know they want to get, get moving on it. But I, and like I said, I've got a couple other lots that this come to me as a shock on. So very good. I'm very much pleased that you're going to review that. Any questions for me? Anybody else? Yeah, I'm, I'm just here for informational purposes. <laughs> Uh, I live next door south uh, of the lot in question. And uh, I just. Can you just, just oh, Tim Bartworth, 1212 Quarry. 
and uh, I have no issues. I, the setback was a surprise to me too. I thought it was 10 foot either side. So, um, you know, I don't have any problem. Very good. Tom, you want to say something? Come on. Yeah, I'm Tom Gray, I'm with Tom's Market, and I'm just here to support my friends, and thank you for people for coming out tonight. And you have a special bananas. <laughs> 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 I got a lot of stuff on. Let me get Pass out with you. Pass off. Rick and Chris, do you guys want to say anything? Thank you. Yeah, well, I guess the only thing that I would like to say is that, uh, we have an easement that runs through the property that's adjacent that we also own, and if we were to encroach on that further, it would, it would significantly restrict what we could put on that particular property. And I talked to Ryan Hiller, who actually did the, uh, the survey for the property, and he indicated that uh, that sewer easement is five foot on either side, but really, when you if you have to dig or anything like that, it could be ten foot on either side. So again, if we encroach on that any further, that that lot becomes a pretty low value. So we would appreciate that. Stay within those 10 foot setbacks on the existing uh, survey. Although we're not building any. Yeah, we're not. Very good. All right, I'll um, close the public hearing and bring it back to the table. Does anybody want to make a motion? So moved. Second? Second. And that is to approve the variance? To approve the variance. And I'm sorry, who's, who's second? Who was the second on that? No. Thank you. Um, given the um, way that this is going, I don't see it necessary to, to go through all of the bells and whistles of the nominating questions. Well, you know how I am about that, but <laughs> I seriously doubt that anyone here is going to come take the task on it, so it is probably just go as you wish. All right, uh, well, Judy, would you take the roll, please? I would indeed. On the motion, uh, Danelle. Yes. Perry. Yes. Jacobs. Yes. Khan. Yes. Right. Yes. Twenty minutes and we're done. We <laughs> can do it, Jared. Now, 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 now. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, do you have anything else, Judy? Do you have any other plans? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, I know. I have to know these heads. All right. Nope. That's good. So I have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. 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 All in favor say aye. 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 Mark saw somebody on there. Wow. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. 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 Thank you.